And we are back underway. We're back within one. Missouri trying not to let this huge lead completely evaporate. Halter with the dig. Skinner on the attack, and we are tied. We are tied at 13. It's all in Skinner's arm swing. Watch his approach. Look how she is using her full body. When she has this kind of arm swing and literally drops her left shoulder, reaches her right arm as high as she can, does a crunch in the air, you're not about to touch that ball. 5-0 run for Texas. Lettuce. Missouri jumps back in front, 14-13. And Isla Bowie wasn't showcased that much last season. Don Sullivan said when she came to my team, I saw how good she was, and I needed that that weapon in the back row as well for attacks. Here's Carolees Perez Catala, former Western Athletic Conference Libero of the Year last season, UT Rio Grande Valley. Ames off the block. Vernon on the attack. That is a close call. It was out. And we're tied again. And we'll see if uh, Don Sullivan looked. She was headed towards the challenge card for a minute. And Who was it? Down. What a battle here in set number two. Halter serving. Tied at 14. Off the tape. Diving for it. Perez Catala. Halter. Point Missouri. That ball from Missouri, to me, looks like it was going out. Texas is trying to play safe right now, though. That's really how you have to play when you are tied in a set like this. You've got to go for the balls that you think might be in. Maya Sands. Carlson. Singletary in the middle. And now the Tigers fired up as they go back up by two. There is a nothing more suffocating or in your face than an ISO block. Peg taking down Singletary by herself, not without Cranover, not without Vernon. She is reading her one on one. Service error, number five for the Tigers. And now Kahawai going in for Carlson. Again, the right side that brings a lot of energy to Texas and especially her service on match. Kahawai hitting 333 so far tonight. Here's Rutherford with the serve. Sliding in was Madison Skinner. One-handed Perez Catala. That one smashed off the block. Alters there. Skinner. Kept alive by Singletary. The Hawaii. Here comes Michael Vernon. Madison Skinner waiting for it. The block was there. Crucial moments here at set number two up in the rafters. Where is Catala set over by Vernon? Skinner! That one knocked over Perez Catala. Kept alive. Island on the attack. And a little too much on it. Tied again this time at 16. And we're tied. Skinner and Reagan Rutherford. Rutherford doing the limbo. Making sure that ball goes out. And take note, Rutherford is setting this rotation. She is actually setting. There's no setter in. Watch this matrix move. Boom! Wow. Show that flexibility, Reagan. <laughs> She'll get a breather after that. All right, what's going on? I don't want to hear all this. Do you have a challenge here? By who? did touch it but by her reaction i genuinely don't think she touched it because you'll see a player with their team you're like oh yeah i don't touch that one but it looked like she was completely confident she did the little finger wave in the air didn't touch that either way this is you can treat it like a timeout a challenge break that momentum try and calm down and again texas does not have a setter on the floor right now was there a touch up at the net Upon further review, the call is going to be reversed. The ball was in Point, Missouri. Oh. They retained their challenge. 
Wow. He had touched a player at the net. So the call is overturned. Ball in. Oh, there you go. Can't really uh, wow. right there. There's been a, a few close ones. Don Sullivan almost. Reminder college football live airing now. Tune now selected. Press left to run. Dismiss. Had a huge lead in this one. Try not to relinquish that, and now up by two. And they led it 1.113 earlier in this set. The crowd over serving 21 aces on the year for the former Longhorn, make it 22. Wow. Crown over knows the game plan. She played with Maddie Skinner. She knows that Skinner is always getting served. And now it's her turn to try and punish her former teammate. Just relentless. Matched her jersey number there. Three-point lead. Swindle. To Hawaii and Missouri. Trying to pull away late in the second set. 19-15. Good response by Skinner. Giving Swindle a free wow. option pass. But Texas not able to make anything happen. Right now, Crown Over is definitely coming for blood in that team with Halter and Skinner. See that focus from the Austin native. Another ace for Marina Crown Over in her return to Gregory Gym. Crown Over is having zero problems playing in her former gym, especially at the service line. She is so confident. She's going for that team. 4 0 run comes to an end. That miss serve is okay, especially when you have two aces and one of those other serves getting Texas out of system. She did a great job from the service line. A couple Wonder of aces, 16 assists. Yeah, we'll see. Skinner serving for the Longhorns. Down by four. And she returns the favor with an ace. Madison Skinner with her second of the night. Don Sullivan said it's going to be a serve and pass game for us. They're going to try and hit us hard and get us out of system. Sliding in was Perez Catala Vernon off the block. Kahawai. This time is Wenis's turn. That one misses the mark. 21-17. It looked like Wenis just contacted the ball wrong. And she didn't snap her wrist. She didn't move her arm. She was acting like it was a serve going for that deep throw. 13 attack errors by each squad now. Nearly an ace for Vernon. Free ball for the Tigers. Up by four, Mariana Singletary. With a big block for Texas here late in the second. And remember, Haith got an ISO block against Singletary. Singletary is coming back for blood. She wants that ball, especially with this matchup. She is reading the arm and returning the favor. And Leah is one of Texas's four aces on the night. Sands, crowned over, pushed over by Eilif. There's eight names, precision from the freshman. Eight names to Jared Elliott said is one of the best freshmen I have ever had play for me. You can see why, especially with her offense, she is so aggressive. We have yet to see her tip her roll. She's leading the team in hitting percentage this year. Texas trailed by eight, tied it up. Now back within two. That one too strong from DeMarey. No, it was touched. And that was a great swing by DeMarey. Going with the original game plan from Don Sullivan, which is touch, text, and block. And Sullivan wouldn't tell us, but she said, we know some weaknesses in that big text and block. We're going to expose them. Another ace for Missouri. Number six on the night. And it makes it a 23-19 lead as they inch closer to tying this match up. This gym has gotten awfully quiet as set point is on the way for Missouri. Going on a run with Kaylin Rush, the sophomore serving. Jenna Gabriel kept telling her players how loud this place would get. 
Tigers have quieted down the Greg by taking set number two emphatically. 25-19, and we are even at one set apiece. Oh, boy. Great swing by Demaray. It's all in her snap and the placement, and Texas is just out of system right now, not able to keep that ball on their side, giving Demaray a present as a point. We will talk to the head coach, Don Sullivan of Missouri, coming up in just a moment. So the Longhorns took the first set, 25-21. The Tigers respond, 25-19. Remember, Texas trying to avoid losing three matches at home in a single season for the first time since 2006. And right now, defense the story. These teams have combined for nine blocks. And now joining us, Don Sullivan, the reigning SEC co-coach of the year. Coach, what did you say to your team after dropping that first set? Because they responded big time in the last one. Yeah, mainly it was just, you know, we were not playing us. We were very high air. How do we just control what we can control? Minimize our errors and start tough. Coach, Texas looking at a system a good amount of time with that second set. What's the number one thing your team is doing to get the Longhorns out of system? Yeah, just driving that serve, making it drop a little bit, driving feed. Uh, team's doing a great job on that service line. Thank you, Coach. Don Sullivan and the Tigers looking to pull off their first win against a ranked team this season. They responded with a strong second set. Don't go anywhere. I think it's going to be a long night in Austin. We're tied at one between the long and, and we're and the tied at one apiece. So set three will be next when we get back. 